Hey guys, this is your reading for November. This is a monthly for you guys. <clears throat> this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs, guys. Let's see, I saw that tower there. Mm. Let's see, I also saw the Eight of Wands before I actually started um, the camera rolling. So a lot of you guys, I feel like, um, have moved suddenly or for some of you, it's like you're really trying to fast track your way um, through a breakup, okay? Just trying to hurry up and move on with someone in order to like get over a breakup. What is the energy around my Scorpios for the month of November? Energy around Scorpio. What is the energy around Scorpio? The moon. Hmm. You guys are very emotional, I feel, right now. Um, this is you guys kind of like waning in and out of your feelings. Having mood swings. Feeling very unclear about what you want to do. Or how you feel, even. Cancer energy there. I feel like there's some really um, dark moods going on with you guys here. What's challenging my Scorpios? The Nine of Wands. Pushing through. Your challenge is to continue forward. To keep pushing. To keep going on. Um, to fight through this this um, this cloudiness that you're currently experiencing, I feel like a lot of you are at a point where you want to give up, and there's a need for you to not succumb to whatever um, low vibrational energies that you may be feeling. Okay, to fight through that. Sagittarius energy there. <clears throat> what is the underlying issue here for my Scorpios? The will of fortune. You guys feel like, you know, everything's against you. Feeling very unlucky in love, I feel, here. Let me see what this moon energy is about. Please show me more about this moon energy. Please show me more about this moon energy. The Empress. Hmm. Somebody you guys feel strongly attached to. Um, this could definitely be like an older person. Your mother even. Somebody that you have like this very... Uh, tumultuous relationship with this volatile relationship with somebody that you have a hard time like detaching from and letting go of um, I feel like this person you wanted them to be the one so very badly this person means a lot to you but I'm sensing that um, this, this person makes you feel less than. They have you questioning yourself, whoever this is. Taurus, Libra, Aries, Capricorn energy here. Hmm. I feel Pisces is here as well. In the recent past for my Scorpios. You have a King of Swords in reverse. Um, this is somebody that's very manipulative. Um, I feel like this person is playing mind games with you. They know how to get to you. They know how to push your buttons, whoever this is. This is almost like a master manipulator. Hmm. This person knows how you feel about them. They know how you feel about them. They are your weakness, I feel, here. 
again, Taurus, not Taurus, but Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy there with the King of Swords. Very masculine, controlled energy. I feel like this person, like, you guys feel trapped. You feel trapped by this situation. You feel like this person watches you. You feel like they stalk you. Um, there may be some sort of paranoia um, in you guys as well about this situation. Because I feel like this person has manipulated you so much mentally that you don't know what's real and what's not sometimes okay crowning thoughts for scorpio judgment you guys are ready to be done with this you want you want to see some change in your life and it's like you're so frustrated um you want things to change for the better. I feel, I'm feeling like you guys are just wanting to move on. You're just wanting to like let go of all this negativity, all this negative thinking, um, these ruminating thoughts, and you're wanting to like <clears throat> put this either to put this to bed or to fix this situation so you guys can move forward. You know you have to make a decision one way or the other because you cannot stay in limbo is what I'm getting here. And I'm feeling like a lot of anxiousness going on right now <clears throat> within myself even. What's coming in for Scorpios? Strength. Strength to move on. The strength to keep pushing forward. To not fall back into this devil energy. To not let somebody entrap you. To not let somebody control you in the way that you're maneuvering and how you're thinking. Your energy is so intense right now that like, I literally have, um, like, I'm tingling all over. Leo energy there. How is Scorpio viewing this situation? How is Scorpio viewing this situation? The Nine of Pentacles. You're thinking about yourself and what you need to do. Um, what's best for you? You have two nines here right now. <clears throat> I feel that you guys are really struggling to stand on your own. To stand on your own two feet. To be single. To be confident. To be secure in your own right. Virgo energy there. You're trying to break free, I'm feeling, here. What is the influence here for Scorpios? The hanged man. You're trying to break free. This situation has gone on like far too long. And I feel like you guys are literally, you have literally been sacrificing your peace of mind, yourself, for this situation and just kind of taking a beating. And I feel like with the strength coming in for you, look at this, you're finding the strength to release yourself from this stuck position, this stuck mentality, these stuck emotions. This stagnant energy, this energy needs to shift is what this is because it's very heavy. It's very heavy. Piscean energy there. Hopes or fears for Scorpio. Hopes or fears for Scorpio. Cards wanting to fall out there. Hopes or fears for Scorpio. Ten of Cups, of course. You want to be happy. Your hope is that you will. And that you'll find somebody that, that is on the same page with you. You want an emotionally fulfilling relationship. A committed relationship. Camaraderie. Somebody that works with you. Again, Piscean energy there. That's your hope. Oh, look at this. We have the higher in reverse and then the King of Pentacles. This is Taurus energy here. I get that 
you guys want something with somebody or you did want something with somebody that um, wanted something non-traditional with you or they want something non-traditional uh, non-committal in general this person look at this they want their cake and eat it too whoever this is okay the person that you're thinking about this Taurus energy if this is a Taurus for some of you um, this person wants their cake and eat it too I feel like they do not want to commit they do not want to be tied down um, they'll take care of you they'll give you money but I don't feel like you know they're gonna be in one place all the time okay overall outcome for Scorpio overall outcome for Scorpio Queen of Swords there you go hmm I feel like you guys are separating yourselves from this situation and I feel like you will go forward um, towards the end of November into December seeing thing, things much more um, clearly okay and I feel like you're no longer going to, going to allow yourselves to um, what what's the word you're not going to make excuses for this person anymore you're going to make a decision and you're going to stick to it by what is reasonable for you you're not going to let your feelings cloud your judgment because you know that this person this this situation this person may not necessarily be toxic but you know they may be toxic together with you is a thing and I think you're removing yourselves from that you you're seeing that okay because you just want to be happy you just want to be happy and I don't know if this person with you um, equates to happiness okay so again Gemini Libra Aquarius energy here all my cars are out of you looks like it and um, that's what I have for you guys and I'll be speaking with you soon bye